Sub troops, good you're in America. And today I'm going to try not to sleep. Anyway, we're going to dive into the wacky and sometimes downright unbelievable tale of the two worst Trump bum sniffers and kissers ever. Tim Scott and Vivit Ramaswamy. Now, we all know these guys, they're like knockoff versions of Trump you'd find on Timu or Wish.com, if you're desperate, Craigslist. Uh, they may look, well, they don't. They may look the first part at first, but give it a moment and you'll notice lots of things are just off. A red tie doesn't mean anything. Shall we start with... Um, Was let's start with Tim Scott. The hopeful, the determined. And let's be honest, well, I would say single, but he needed a family values profile for his campaign. And suddenly, wow, Super fast. That express marriage, you know, it was like ordering a political Amazon Prime special for conservative voters because apparently nothing says traditional values like a shotgun wedding. Plan to the rhythm of a campaign calendar. Mm. Now, Scott's express marriage, that effort isn't just a storyline. It's like he went all in on a wrong con for the campaign trail. One where he had to convince America he's not just committed to uh, MAGA, conservatism, but also to commitment. And while he's out there looking for love <laughs> under the hot campaign lights, what he's really trying to woo is the conservative MAGA base. So maybe, 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 maybe it was a marriage proposal to America itself, a desperate I do to every voter who's ever wished They'd bring, be able to bring a date to Thanksgiving. Yes, Tim Scott finally tied the knot. Our bachelor senator finally committed and, no, not to any politics, of course, just to an actual human being. I mean, who would have thought? Tim Scott, who once seemed as marriage to his single lifestyle as Lindsey Graham was to his ideas of traditional family values, pulled that surprise wedding out of the hat. Right in the nick of time for Trump to scream, Where's my married African American? Written and illegal from the Congo! It's kind of subtle racism when he says that. Some might call it finding love, but let's be real. The more cynical among us might call it perfect timing in the family value sales department. Now, Tim's officially off the is he or isn't he single market. Maybe now the mad faithful can breathe a collector's sigh of relief. Not because they are invested in his happiness. Sorry about that, Tim. Mind you. It's because they can stop whispering about it. No more Lindsay Graham. No, we don't talk about Lindsay. Okay. Shh, zip it. But wait, there's more. This isn't just a wedding. It's a commitment to a voter base that needs to see their candidates live in their values, as they say. Stormy Daniels, hush money. Uh, nothing says conservative role model like someone who finally decides to settle down just as he's setting his sights higher. Oh, kissing Trump's backside. Tim, you've given the term campaign promise, I'm trying not to sneeze here, a whole new meaning. I should have brought a tissue up before I started doing this. I got a little bit of hay fever. Right. Then we have the one and only Vivek Ramaswamy, or should I say, America's answer to Timu brand Trump. This guy has crafted himself as the techie version of Donald Trump, but with a level of self-loathing that practically leaks out of him like a glitch, you know, in a really bad app. He's here to disrupt politics like it's just another business. And every time he speaks, I can't help but wonder if he's desperately trying to convince us or himself. I mean, we get it, Vivek. You're here to win over the Maggers, but also the young voters, Gen Z, the tech bros, Elon. Joe Rogan, the billionaires, the anti-establishment, and pretty much everyone except, well, yourself. Vivek, we know you don't like yourself. You don't like what you see in the mirror. You see, Vivek talks a lot about love of country and patriotism. But there's something about his vibe that just screams, help me, I'm trapped in my own, my own hustle. He's like the kid at summer camp who doesn't really want to be there, but convinces himself and everyone else that he's having the time of his life. I mean, he's even got the overly rehearsed Trump hand gestures down. When I watch him speak, it's like I'm seeing a copy of a copy, trying so hard 
to be authentic, that it ends up looking like an out-of-focus Carrie Lake. It's a bad meme. Is that what they call patchism by proxy? Now, Vivet runs on a platform. It always feels like it was cobbled together from the best, the best of one and oxymoron, the best of Trump's mixtapes, but played at two times five speed. He's here to disrupt, to innovate, to say, look, <laughs> I can be as loud as the next guy, talk all over everyone too. Except here's the thing. Does he even believe what he's saying? Sometimes he sounds like he's trying to win over the approval of a version of Trump that exists only in his head, or a MAGA does TikTok. It's as if he's on a quest for validation from an imaginary boss who's as critical as he is enthusiastic. <laughs> Vivek, I do feel sorry for you. Here's how it goes with Vivek. He's the one telling immigrant families to be extra patriotic because nothing says... I'm proud to be an American, I love my country, uh, like buying wholesale patriotism. And every time he opens his mouth, it's like he's channeling the Trump that somehow downloaded a software update for millennial lingo. They're cutting the grass as I speak. It just misses the sincerity package. I mean, one minute he's here saying, we need strong borders. And the next he's saying, let's disrupt the border industry entirely. Maybe he'll just start selling Patriot points on his campaign website. Leans in closely. But here's the kicker, yeah? Trump hasn't just created knockoffs like Tim and Vivek. He's inadvertently started a whole genre. Cut some grass, cut some grass. Uh, and speaking of Trump, let's not forget the legendary friendship club he's unintentionally formed. Question. Did Trump ever attend a white party with Diddy? No, 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 no. He has his own going daily at Mar-a-Lago. Anyway, one more thing, troops. Tim Scott and his express marriage, Vivek as a Trump for sale on the App Store. There is a moral to all of this. The moral is, in politics, if you can't beat them, you make a budget version of them. Cut that grass. See you next time on Good Yawn in America, the never-ending story of American politics.